Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we are going to troubleshoot how to add a community member if either the Manage or Workspaces link is not available. In order to manage community members, your profile must be listed as a member of that community. If the user is not able to see those links, then their profile must be added. The only workaround is for the system administrator to use the API or data loader to add the member to the community. In this example, we will use data loader. First, we will create a CSV file with two columns, one named parent ID, which will hold the profile ID. The second column is network ID, which will hold the community ID. Save the file and leave it open. Then obtain the Salesforce network ID of the community that the user needs access to. Log in to the org. Click on the gear icon. Click on Setup. And type in Communities in the Quick Find box. Click on All Communities. Locate the Partner Central Community and note that there is no workspace and builder links. Highlight the Partner Central URL. Select Inspect Element or View Page Source in the browser, and it should give you a console view below the page with the network ID highlighted. The community network ID starts with 0DB and is 15 characters long. Alternatively, you can obtain the community network ID from the data loader from the network object. Paste the ID under network ID in the CSV file and save it. Type in profile in the quick find box. Click on profiles. Select the profile. In this screencast, I will click on the System Admin Profile. Copy the ID from the browser link. That starts with 00E. It should be 15 characters long. Paste the ID under Parent ID in the CSV file. Now we will insert this information using Data Loader. Open Data Loader. Click Insert, Enter Credentials, click Login, select Show All Salesforce Objects, select Network Member Group from the list. On the same page, click Browse and add the CSV file that was saved. Click Next and OK. Click Create or Edit a Map and the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column name should match up if entered correctly. If not, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done. And click Next. Select a place where to save the success and error files, which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. Go back to the org and all community page. Notice the workspaces and builder link is now present next to the partner central. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you will need system administrator permissions. If you are interested in adding a profile to a community and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.